As technology advances, cyber threats have also become more sophisticated, taking advantage of new tools and techniques. The main threat to modern systems is malware, short for malicious software, that can ultimately endanger confidentiality, integrity and availability of all system. Malware can be spread through various means, such as phishing emails, infected websites or compromised software. The preparation phase is the foundation for an effective incident response capability. This includes activities such as forming an incident response team, defining incident response policies and procedures, developing an incident response plan, establishing communication channels, and conducting training and exercises to enhance readiness. In this phase, the focus is on detecting and analysing security incidents, Monitoring and detection systems are deployed to identify potential indicators of compromise and anomalous activities. Once an incident is detected, it is analysed to understand the nature and scope of the incident. This includes determining the extent of the compromise, the potential impact on systems and data, and identifying the attacker's tactics, techniques and procedures. During the detection stage, Analysts or automated tools identify whether a system is infected with malware. They do so by looking for indicators of compromise. IRCs are any information that can be used to identify a security incident, such as an IP address or a domain name, like traces that the threat actor has left behind. Next up is the identification stage. At this point, we determine which systems or endpoints are infected and the actions the malware is taking. For example, sending information back to a host server. It is important at this stage to identify the malware itself and, if possible, analyse it in a sandbox environment to understand its goals and behaviour. Additionally, security analysts can examine changes in intrusion detection systems and hate chip traffic. The last stage of malware analysis is documentation where we create a comprehensive report detailing malware information, including behaviour, capabilities and system impact. It includes recommendations for remediation for the next phase of incident response. The next step is to quickly and efficiently limit the incident's impact and prevent further damage. During containment, analysts isolate affected systems, block attacker communication and restrict the incident's spread. In the eradication step, analysts completely remove the attacker from the system by removing malware, closing vulnerabilities and blocking all unauthorised access. Finally, recovery activities restore affected systems, data and services to normal operations. Sharing malware intelligence with the security community is crucial to prevent future attacks and enhance countermeasures. Analysts document malware behaviour, characteristics and indicators of compromise so others can identify and block similar threats in advance. Successful information sharing leads to the development of virus signatures and the identification of zero-day vulnerabilities that can be integrated into a variety of security tools. Malware is the major threat to today's systems and it is important to take robust security measures to protect against it. We encourage viewers to keep their software patched, use strong authentication methods and create a culture of security awareness. Deticon's Digital Engineering Centre is on a mission to demystify security measures and help its clients take bold and innovative new steps to protect organisational assets from cybersecurity threats. <laughs>